the other thing I wanted to show was that this is a two-dimensional slice and I can um, you know adjust the direction and position that slice any place I want through my site but the other thing that I wanted to show you was let me switch this back to horizontal is that I can tell it I want to do a 3D analysis and um, I'm going to come down and say I don't really need to see the 2D slice anymore I'm doing the 3D analysis and then down under the 3D volumetric I'm going to change this to where it says flow lines and under the flow lines uh, thinking of those as the boundaries of my site I can decide which uh, boundary I want to make active that I'll, that I'll see the, the wind as it travels through that that boundary. So I'm just going to go with the, the option that was the default so you can see how this looks and let me just make sure that I'm not, I'm, I'm going to turn off so I don't want the I don't need the displace values in 3D, I don't need to see the grid lines um, I'm switching off everything I can here just to so 3D, full 3D. Oh, sorry, here I need to switch that on. There's my, there's my option now. So now I can go back to my settings. Now that I, s I know what I'm seeing, I can go back to the flow line settings and say, well, you know, actually it's probably that, that this one that I'm turning on. So if I go OK, I can see that as it moves through my site. If I use my right mouse button, you see I can actually turn it. To look at and zoom in a bit, look at my site in a bit more detail. And uh, quite possibly I want to just reduce the number of, of arrows that are showing on this. So if I go back to my settings, I could say uh, reduce the number of lines here, apply that that'll simplify it a bit. And now, now I get an idea, a better idea of the wind flow around my, my building.